Homeowners, before you grab your shovel, grab your phone. Officials want you to call before you dig, and Emily Dean is live in Howard to explain. Hi, Em. Good morning, Rachel and Pete. Hi, everybody. We are out here in a home in Howard this morning, uh, giving you some information about Call Before You Dig. Mark Wazilowski is here with me with WPS. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Emily. We have Jim back over there who has been marking this morning the electric and gas lines. Um, and we see this area is marked over here with electric, but something is kind of missing back there. So tell me about our area and the surroundings that we have right here. Yeah, so it looks like we want to do a planting here this morning by the stake. And we had some locates out here this morning. The uh, orange uh, facilities, uh, yellow and red facilities are marked. But you can see off the power pole there, there's an there's a electric wire that may not have been marked. So that's something you should be aware of and make another contact to Digger's Hotline to make sure that gets located. You want to make sure you know what your surroundings are. And I know people can call the number 811. How are they going to be directed to know who's going to come out and do the locate for them? 811 gets you to the call center either in Wisconsin or Michigan and they will take your information and get that out to the local facility owners like WPS and Howard Water that was here earlier this morning. Now Jim is going over there and marking that section but you know what we did for Jim is we put a stake down there so if someone's going to want to plant let's say a tree it'd be nice of them to put a stake down of where they want. Why is that Mark? That helps uh, determine for the locator where he needs to actually uh, locate. If you just call in your entire yard, it's, it takes a lot more time to get that done. So if you would call in and say, there's a stake in my front yard, I want to plant a tree there and mark like a 25 foot radius, it really gives them a smaller area to locate facilities in, helps Let, them. And let's say everything's marked, you had someone come out and locate, you're doing the digging and you hit something. You can see this example right here of something that was a uh, gas pipe that was hit in De Pere. This is obviously pretty extent, so there might be a fine that comes with this, but let's say you hit something maybe real small, that doesn't cost you anything, right, if you're able to repair it? As long as you're using safe digging practices, we ask that you contact us anytime that you hit our facility, either a tracer wire with a gas, uh, the gas main, or even the, a nick the wrapper or an electric line, because it causes damage long term. And people need to know that the call to have someone come and locate is free, and it's the law. Let's talk about, let's say if someone wants to put up a shed or if they want to add something to their home, their personal stuff. Tell me about that, Mark. Any uh, private facilities you have in your yard are your own responsibility. When you call Digger's Hotline, we will locate our facilities, but any uh, sprinkler systems, uh, electric line to your shed, that has to be marked by yourself or someone you have to contract with to get that located. LP lines is another one. And you have something in your hand that's really helpful for homeowners that you put on um, their doorknob. Tell me what this is. It's just a little information card that lets you know what colors mean what. So you know that red is for electric and orange is for uh, communications, green for sewer. It helps the homeowner know and also gives you the number to call. And um, calling to how in advance do you have to call for someone to come locate? It's three working days and that excludes holidays and weekends. And how much time do you have to get your project or whatever you need to get it started? How much time? Once you have the locate is good, it's good for 10 days. If you don't start, you need to call on another locate. It's oh. good for 10 days. All right. Thank you so much, Mark, for being with us this morning. Some great information. Rachel, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Emily.